The Broken Heart to Miss F. B. by Kate Slaughter McKinney, read for LibriVox.org. He brought me a heart one morning, brought me a heart to mend, and he said, I shall never forget it, twas broken by your friend. The wound will grow deeper and wider, he said in a sadder tone, unless you devise some method to place it against her own. Then I crept away to my chamber, but a thought like a silver stream kept trickling along the wayside that bordered my restless dream. So I hid his heart in a lily when the dawn began to break, in a beautiful water lily that grew on the rim of a lake. Yes, down on a snowy pillow, in a cradle warm and deep, I laid the little foundling, and a ripple rocked it to sleep. The dawn came up with blushes, and shook from her gown the dew, and I heard the song of the skylark as into the clouds he flew. But the heart dreamed on in the lily, and I went at the close of day, and found that my little treasure was chilled by the foam and spray. So I warmed it upon my bosom, then cradled it back on the wave. But I feared that the lily's offspring was doomed to a watery grave. So I watched till the daylight vanished through the sunset's purple bars, till the night climbed over the willows and lit up the moon and stars. I thought I heard your footstep, and lo, in the reeds and grass, I crouched that there, unnoticed, I might behold you pass. You came in your regal beauty, and, bright as the weird fireflies that illuminated the waving rushes, I saw your glorious eyes. You kneeled on the mossy margin. I counted the lilies there. Two buds and a creamy blossom were fastened in your hair. Another was drawn from the water, and, pushing the reeds apart, I saw twas the very lily wherein I had hidden the heart. You pinned it low down on your bodice, half hidden it lay in the lace, and you passed by a twofold existence, a new light enriching your face. And though I am absent and distant, methinks I can still hear the tone of a heart that with happy emotion is beating, I close to your own. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain.